Let me show you how you can draw Bezier curves using Pen Tool in LibreOffice Draw. Head to the left to the toolbar. Then search for curves and polygons. You can click this little triangle to open this menu. As you can see, we got several options here. The top it will give us like the shape that is already filled with color. And the bottom will give us just the shape that is filled with the stroke without any fill color inside. But in general, they are pretty similar. So the first one is curve. It's just like a pen tool. Then we got polygon. It's like using pen tool to draw just straight lines. We got polygon that will bend only 45 or 90 degrees. And then we got free line. This is usually called pencil tool in other software when you just draw a line using a vector tool like that. So let's grab a curve. And this will be very similar experience to having a proper pen tool. So if you click, 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 you got straight line. If you click and hold, you have chance to bend the line. And keep in mind, the next line will be also bent after that. So click and hold to control how curvy the line is, or simply click, click, click if you need a straight line. Remember, we need to go back to the beginning of the drawing so we can close this vector shape. Let's try the version with the fill color. In this case, you can see the color inside, but we still need to go back kind of to the beginning and try to close that shape. This tool is pretty tricky, so most people will prefer to use freeform line. And let's use the one with the fill color this time. And for this version of the tool, you just click and drag around and you will be like drawing. This is a bit easier and with the finished shape, you can always modify color as this is a vector shape. So it's really, really easy to modify vector shapes. Keep in mind, if you double tab on it, you can type inside. Or if you want to modify a shape itself, there's also option for that. Simply toggle on point editing mode at the top and you will see all of the vector points that are building this shape and we can move them around. We can even delete the one you don't need hitting delete on your keyboard. So this is just like a note tool in Adobe Illustrator. All right. So as you can see, you can draw custom vector shapes in LibreOffice Draw. There is a proper basic curve tool. And there's also a proper note tool to modify existing shapes. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next video.